video. <laughs> That's what this is for, buddy. Oh, Who's doing the cleanup? We are. We have a skid steer? We're, one's coming. He dropped the, the land off. He went to go pick up I the... I seen uh, it coming northbound. He went to go pick up the, uh, um, the, the bin. Okay. And then uh, Chris is loading up the uh, the little one. As long as, long as um, they're here, they'll help us out with this. But if they get a call, they gotta go. That's fine. I appreciate it. Well, it looks like they're gonna crush the trailer for us to put it on the land all easier. Dude, that's easy. All I gotta do then is when they're done and the cleanup's done, I lift it up and put it on. Who's driving the land all, Aki? Uh, no, Ernie. Where's that new Jordan? Ernie Parkinson to bring the land off. Should have brought it. Who's gonna tow the tractor? Is the tractor okay? No, the tractor's good. All right, no problem. I already got all the info from, from this thing. I don't know what else we're gonna need. It has the registration, it has the company name on it. So. All right, man. All right, let me go around these guys and see what's going on here. Looks like a uh, packet's uh, some kind of food condiment. Sun butter. A lot of butter. Oh shoot, it's still on fire on that side. I just pulled up, but it looks like uh, that load is fully engulfed and destroyed. Peanut butter. I seen right there. I might be able to keep a few. I like peanut butter. Okay, I'm posted up on the sideline trying to get a game plan. Uh, this is a mess. The thing about these trailers, you don't gotta worry about damage. So I mean, you don't have to be sensitive with the spreader bar and straps and all that. This is chain all the way around. It looks like they're gonna empty it out and um, we're gonna get our skid steer and a roll off bin for all the debris. That's going to be uh, quite a bit of cleanup. Thank you to the fire department for all their assistance on this one. And once it's all done and cleaned up, I'm just going to lift up the trailer and the land is going to back up underneath it. And off we go. It looks like I'm, depending on uh, how much the fire department does, I might have to cut it. This is a good time to test my new uh, Milwaukee saw 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 blade what's it called the saw saw something like that I'm going back to Hulk for a quick drink out of my refrigerator because it is blistering hot today man some cool footage from this angle I guess the insulation inside is still uh, burning so we'll be at that for a minute once they're, they're done with that they'll allow us to park our roll-off bin right here and start the fun process of loading everything into the roll-off bin Oh man, looks like they're gonna chop it up manually. Let's see what's going on. Oh, they're just bringing out the product from under the trailer. These guys are getting down, man. Hats off to them. landing gear might have to crush it more in the front because my goal is to put this it's a 53 footer land all bed set at 40 feet so i can possibly cut off the landing gear or maybe crush it more in the front 
So when I lift everything, the rear axle sit behind the Lando, which is right there. So I can be under 14 feet. 14 feet's your sweet spot in, in SoCal. The good thing is we're close to the 210 freeway, which is very truck friendly. But I don't think that's the way we're going. pick it up is if I just lift up from the front and the back the middle is compromised it looks like the middle will stay on the floor I mean I'll figure it out it's not an issue now in there and dropping up the walls because the insulation inside is what's catching fire that is brutal man huh maybe I could keep this box <laughs> department's using their loader we got our skidster here as well should be much faster I'm gonna see if they can help me crush the trailer when they're done loading ah, these guys don't mess around man minutes of this and it should be clear so we got our bin full that is a nasty mess man peanut butter going back to our Rialto yard then there's a got like a super 10 dump truck in the back uh -huh. they're gonna put the rest of the load in what a mess they need the street sweeper on this <laughs> Roasted peanuts. All right, so we got a lot of it cleaned up. Right now, what he's gonna do for us is crush the trailer. I don't know how much more our bin can take. It's pretty full. So while the second one gets here, if we can't use the Caltrans one, this guy's gonna go ahead and crush the trailer. that on this side and the sun's too bright right now in that angle crush 
Crush it, baby, crush it. Staring down the foundation so when he crushes the roof it'll cave in easy. Look, because the other wall is completely gone in the roof on the front, once he does this part, even though it still looks tall, yeah. we can use a chain to bind it. It'll, it'll bring in the walls really, really small. Compact, uh, I mean. Jeff's calling around for uh, his end up guy right now, but that guy's not a pair. Well, that can wait. We can we can load this on the low boy in the meantime. Kill time okay. doing that, uh -huh. and then once that's done, you know, use a skid steer to, to load up that. Did a fantastic job crushing the front of it. Take off my coronavirus mask, which, by the way, my sister made. How cool is this? I'm such a child. So we're putting the tarp on the bin. They maxed it out, it's full. We got a second one coming, but uh, they put all the load in the back. He organized it really nice. So from here, once he crushes it, I'm gonna get to the side of it with Hulk, lift the sucker up, and our Landau's gonna back up underneath it. During that whole process of carrying it and everything, then you'll pull forward when it's done. By then our second roll off, or I think that's uh I don't know what kind of unit they're bringing, but our second bin will be here, and then we can use our skid steer um, to load it. If fire department's still available with their loader, then we'll use theirs. <sighs> it is still blazing hot. And this thing got tore up. Woohoo! Nasty. The smell, like I said, though, isn't bad. I've dealt with burnt seafood, burnt tires, burnt garbage, all kinds of stuff. Burnt peanut butter is not bad. Pretty pleasant, to be honest. They are done. That thing is crushed like a tin can. They're just cleaning off their uh, bucket. Once that's done, he's gonna move out of the way and I'm gonna park Hulk right there. I got a ton of room here. My center point is gonna be right in front of this junk. Boom, right here. I'm gonna rotate my boom. Counterclockwise 90 degrees to the side. And have some fun with this. Okay, first step is actually need my uh, sawzill. Let me see, this one's for wood, this is for metal. I gotta cut this piece because I don't feel comfortable with it here. Cut it right there. My fear is as I back up to it, get it off the side, if it swings even a little bit, I don't want it to hit my truck. Or when I hook up to it and I lift up, I don't want it to hit my truck. So right here is good. good
first steps first is to find out how I'm gonna rig this. Uh, seems pretty easy. I think I'm gonna use four 15 foot chains, half inch, grade 100. I was thinking of using, uh, well, straps out of the question, so that's not even in the equation. I was thinking I could use a chain and just belly wrap it. Or should I use four? See, if I belly wrap it, I just throw a chain under here and then in the middle, go up and then connect it to my snatch blocks that way or I could do one on each end. One here, one on the other outrigger. I'm gonna use four chains, it's decided. All right, Josh, let's get your bridle first. One. Two. Next up, four 15 footers. These ones. I'm done now. Well, I'm saying the one chain down there somewhere. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. All right. So I decided my best plan because of how messed up it is, is I want better control over it. Yeah. So I'm gonna do four lift points. Okay. Each outrigger right here. Uh, where to go? Each oh, outrigger, yeah. and then probably around the front axle. Okay. Right here's my my center point. I'm yeah. gonna. Okay. I'm gonna lift it up from there. So. Okay. So if you want, you can get on the other side. I'm gonna throw you. Uh, yeah, exactly. So just set, set on the other side. Have to throw the chain too, man. It's a, it's a too. Hey, wait. Huh. Well, I'm gonna feed it to you. Oh, so okay, if you want to set on the other side. Got it. <laughs> see if this is center. Right there's good. Okay, this is why I'm not using straps. This thing was jack my straps up. Hey Ernie, yeah. do me a favor. Let it, let it go. Just let it go. I completely forgot when I put this on here. I was just doing it in a hurry, just so I can get my chains up, but I didn't connect it properly. I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight's always my sweet spot. Don't ask me why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Now on this end. Yeah, I can go 10 back here. Oh, okay. Okay, Ernie, let's go around the... There you go. Back to itself. Back 
after this one. All right, good. He did good. My open ended chains for the front of the axles here. You ready? Yeah. <coughs> you know what? Let me follow him and see what he's even gonna go to. What's up, IE? What up, dog? Oh. Damn it! That's a lake of butter! Oh well. I can't put that on YouTube. Hey Ernie, where are you going to? Can you reach on that end? Okay. Right there, and then we just put the chain on it. Okay. Let me see. All right, if you could get that open end through there and pull it out, yeah. I got more too if you need more connectors. But that looks like it should be good. All right, let me do that on this end. All right, so you had a pretty good idea. But my open ended. Just hook it or put a, put a loop on it. Hook it. Wrap that one really tight. So when you have the excess link, you put that grab hook to the end to the okay. tail. So I'm gonna put my open ended chain through the rim and my grab hook for the 15 footer on that end. seems so much more difficult on this side because all the trash is piled up. <clears throat> hey Ernie! Found a CP. Did you do it on the first axle or the, the rear one? Okay. Yeah. Apologize if it gets shaky. But, uh, I gotta get in front of this. I don't want to touch my remote with these hands. Should be here like literally as I start to pull up. He was a passing Laverne last time we talked. All right, we are ready. You're, you're supposed to be dead even over the casualty. Now oh, they're calling me. I'm saying I'm going to start out way over to compensate for the chains crushing through the burnt chassis and for it to settle. What's up? Like I said, I'm going to start off over the casualty. So as I'm booming up, I'm letting out on the blue cable since someone has more tension. Let it catch up to itself. Alright, now let's go on the white cable. Let's 
winch it on the white cable. Lift off, baby. Yeah, get up on your drone. Now this is the dangerous part because I don't even know if it's going to come up together as one piece. Well, so far so good doing my test pulls. So I'm going to go cable only now because I feel comfortable with it. This thing's gonna snap in half, boy. Oh man. I don't care, let it snap in half. Well, I'll tell you one thing, trailers are not meant to be uh, bent like that. Chris! Look! I'm gonna have to set it down and cut it. It is saggy. as I can. I'm gonna try to do this without cutting it. It's an advanced move. Very advanced move. Very risky. Let's back them up. And then what we'll do is once the front of it, check it out. Once the reefer portion that's burned hits the back of his cab, I'll start letting out and it's gonna it's gonna push itself back. It's either that or if it doesn't work, then he just pulls forward and I cut it. But this is the fastest way. And I can pull up on the blue more just, just to clear it. He'll make it there. So let's get him to start back up, please. I have to record this from this angle. I'm sure this looks funny. Let me walk over there and then turn around when I'm done. Okay, uh, my foot almost slipped into a hole back there. I didn't, looks like a lot of GoPros. I don't want to twist my ankle on something stupid like this. So I'm gonna do a walk around from over here. And hopefully the GoPro wide view is wide enough for you guys to really capture to see what's going on. That is a 53 foot reefer, or what's left of it, completely bent in half. There is no structural integrity left on this trailer because of the fire and it being crushed. So what I'm gonna do is the Landau is gonna back up directly underneath it and once it hits the top right there, the, the top deck, I'm going to start laying it down and it's going to flatten out. Well, not, I'll have to compensate by actually stopping them in the middle. That as I lay down, this will even out and that will hit the deck. And the rest that's left hanging will have to chain. <clears throat> but what a sight this is, huh? Two. Oh, this is going to be a mess of a car. No, 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 your 
we're good. Okay, now if my plan goes correct, as I lay it down, it's gonna even out, and I'll show you what that means. Can we hook up the hydraulics now? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is use this chain, wrap to the front and pull it. And then I let it down, it'll, we'll get it to where the top of the reefer like is sitting up here. I'm gonna turn out the GoPro, I'm popping a new battery. This one's almost dead. Ready? Okay, hold on. Start winching in. Okay, Chris, as you winch in, I'm gonna go down, okay? So this is what you're going to do. I'm going to let go of all the tension. You're going to go back. You're going to go back, right? Then I'm going to re-rig this to here and lift this up so you can back up even more. And I want to get this behind your cab. Okay. Okay. So you want to drop the, the bed a little bit? You can, you, in fact, you can let go of that. Oh, no, no, no. And now I don't need the bed dropped.
gotta disconnect this one. Or actually, I don't gotta disconnect this. I'll free spool it. But yeah, get get that one, please. But be careful. Everything's sharp. Let me see if I can bring it to me. Hold on. Somehow find a way to go to uh, use your chain. I'm oh, sorry. Man. Okay, so I got the reefer unit crushed in completely, way better than I thought. I did chained it. Now I'm gonna go up with the rims. Slide it forward. Let me stand on this one. Come on, sucker. Yeah. Go, Hulk. Now I lift up the front so as it slides, it'll, it'll clear the deck. Can we 
going nowhere, sucker. Where's that car? Man, that front's still giving me issues, huh? Let's see what it looks like now. Okay, easy. I got a new plan. Okay, I have to just do a quick walk around everywhere to make sure everything's good. It is. So I did some test lifts and even with the reefer portion, front wall, hold it down. Ah, that thing still stays on the bed as I go up on the landing gear. So I'm going to go to the, the fifth wheel. And for that, I don't want to use my nice shiny wrinkle for that, do I? You know what I do. That's what it's for. It's meant to get dirty. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is one of my new toys. It's called the Wreckmaster Wrinkle. 50,000 pounds working low limit. This thing is bad. I'll demonstrate why. go of this already? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay. Well, that wasn't smart of me, man. I put the shackles on and everything and this whole time I thought I was recording until I went to stop it for a quick water break and I realized it was off. Uh, this is gonna be so much easier. Actually, let me show you what I did. So that Wreckmaster wrinkle, if you can see, goes to the kingpin. I got my shackles on either end. It's got all kinds of attachments to hook up any which way. Now check this out. Yeah, buddy. Okay, now let me walk back over here. Okay, good. I cleared the land off. So we got the outriggers secured to the bed. Once he does that, I'm going to lift up on my white cable, which is attached to the rear, and set it up on the land all evenly. Okay, I got it now. I'm going to just make my way across this lake, the lake of peanut butter. I'm taking off my sunglasses and my face mask is getting in my way. This is not good PPE at night, Josh. That's it, I part the front of it. That's the one I'm taking, right? Yeah. Okay. This is the one you're taking. Oh, no, no, yeah, the roll off. Okay. All right, let's see. How am I? Am I over? Yeah, I'm center. Nope. We're bringing up the land on, which means that something caught. So I'm going to drop it. Rotate clockwise, drop it, and push it out. Now I can pick up. There we go. It's all right. Now all Ernie 
you have to do is just throw the, the chains, whatever, over this whole thing. Grab it. So now all they gotta do is just throw the chains over everything to keep it from falling. Ah, oh, this thing was a nightmare, dude. Been working on it for a long time? Yeah. Hey, Ernie! Ernie! Do me a favor, bro. When you're, when you're done with this little one part, do me a favor and drive forward. I want to test something. Yeah. I'm going to have him drive forward about 15 feet to see how the rear end is. I'm not liking how it's looking here, so I don't know if I have to cut something or if it'll be fine. Take him up from here. Now we're gonna have him go forward and see what this looks like. Go, go, go. That's all the trash. Keep going! Alright, I'm gonna have to block out, I mean, uh, raise up the back and then put wood underneath. relatively okay distance but keep in mind that it's almost a foot's worth of trash so he's gonna drive all the way forward to where it's completely clear and level and i think we'll be able to take it and i'm gonna use my saw crack let me get it now i'm gonna use my saw oh, yes. <laughs> he's just dragging all the trash with him oh yeah that's good that's real good. Yeah. Where, where yard, where did you get it to? Their yard in Rialto? in as much as we can. I'm gonna just put Hulk away. Ah. I'm gonna put my truck away and then I'm out of here. We need 10 showers after this hole too. Um, I never really show the aftermath of these things. Just, you know, once we're done on the freeway, that's usually it. So I figure I'd get this too. This thing was such a wreck just to clear the freeway. You can see how much it's sticking out. We killed two lanes to the next exit and then three miles on the streets, one way and one turn. Really easy, really easy route. I killed the right lane and the flatbed killed the left lane just riding behind them to make sure you know, no one tries to cut behind in case anything falls off. It held well. Uh, we changed it like a mother, man. Let's see, but we're gonna put it inside.
Wow, I just backed up to get whole crazy and look what I found. What is parked here? The brand new Pepe's first Jordan Heavy. It's an amazing truck in person, you really got to see it. 35 ton wrecker, specced by none other than statewide. It's custom paint by a hydraulic shop. I mean, when I say they got down, they got down. That underlift is killer. What about this truck out there too? Wow, so we backed up everything. They're gonna take off the chains. And I'm gonna leave it right here. Damn, my truck is bright. Oh yeah, yeah. What am I doing on this? Okay. Well, I counted 10 on that side. And here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's, uh, hold on. Let me bring this closer to me. There we go. You stay there. Oi. <laughs> Where is it at? See if you could um toss it straight, please. Just the grab hook. One more time. I'll catch it. And uh, yes, sir. I mean, at least we're not working on the freeway. And under pressure it's still a difficult hookup but oh my god who could possibly be calling me Just can't talk right now but i rotate to bring it closer to me that's good We'll do the same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. And everything has to be symmetrical. All right. Well, let's see if my plan works. Now this isn't meant to be pretty, and offloading is easier than loading. Because I don't have to get it, you know, precise on the bed. All I'm doing is lifting up so the flat dock can drive forward. Okay, my team's ready and I'm ready. Let me just find my balance. I'm gonna have to go a lot higher than where I'm at now. You know what, do I have to go higher? Not really. I got tension on the white. Now let's get tension on the blue. Okay, man, we're almost done. Let me just pull up. <laughs> How far over the center am I? <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. Let's put stuff on the blue first, because that's where all the heavy stuff is. Not a bad idea, huh? I got the front off the end uh, in the air. Right there. Try it, bro. What a call, man. Start to finish. 
Well, you know what? A, a long time. Hold that. But a lot of it was the cleanup. Like that at all Carlos let's re-rig we're gonna go to the landing gear go to the other side please okay. that grab hook we're gonna wrap around the landing gear yeah okay um I thought because a lot of it was empty we go right. okay nothing wrong with the little re-rig I didn't like how it was at all so back end is clear go forward okay hold it let me make sure that I'm even I don't want it to swing and hit my truck Keep going forward. Keep going forward because it's going to even out. So as I drop the white cable and the rear one, it's going to want to unfold. See how close I am to these cars over here. Oh, yeah. Way good. Not bad. to work short jack you can see not a lot of room on this side otherwise i would have started up much further get myself some air room in case anything goes wrong something snaps i don't want this thing to swing it away and damage poor hole rear end completely on the ground i'm just lowering the white cable on the front Put them down and make this process faster. 
Okay, we're done. Now to put Hulk back away for the second time. I'm gonna do a walk around, get all my equipment, chain straps. That was a pretty fun call. I am tired, man. Well, good night, everybody. Hope you enjoyed.